Hello all, praise God. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. God is worthy to be praised. Today you all, I'm, I'm glad to, that you all can join me. And I, I praise God for the new viewers and the new listeners who want to receive the word of the Lord um, from heaven above you all. God is so awesome. He is so great. I have nothing to complain about today. I have nothing to to regret it this day because this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. You all today, um, I will be talking about the fire of God, the fiery furnace with Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. And I'll be talking about Psalms 23 about David, how the Lord is, he says, my shepherd shall not want for nothing. And I want to talk about um, what happened yesterday um, before the verdict on the land came, um, something happened within my life, um, you all, about the fire, okay? So you all stay with me through it us all and make someone be blessed in this. And um, I told you all the other day on one of my videos that I will trust the Lord with my life. And I meant that from the bottom of my soul, the depth of my soul, I will trust the Lord. Trust, trust, trust. No matter what you're going through in your life, no matter what situation come up against you, know to trust him. He say, trust me. As Job say, though you slay me, I will still trust you. Trust God, you all. He is our help. He is our help. He'll send that person to help you each and every time. He'll send that person to alert you each and every time, even when you don't know what is going on around you. He always have that ram in the thicket. He is so awesome, you all. So let's pray. Let's praise God right now. Let's pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, let us bow our heads to you, O God. Let us remove everything from us, O God, to keep us from hearing your word. Lord Jesus, remove everything from us that want to hinder us from hearing your word, O God, and speaking praise and celebrating you, O God, this day. Father God, the verdict is out, O oh God, on the land, O oh God. You are the judge, O oh God. You are the rightful judge. Lord Jesus, we know that you were with us through the fire as you were with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That you were the fourth man in the fire, Lord. We know that you send fires to put out fires. That you end the fire with us, O oh God. We know to trust you, O oh God, through the fire. You are a firefighter, Lord. You put out fires, O oh God, for us in our lives, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, there's victory. In the name of Jesus, there's strength. In the name of Jesus, there's truth. In the name of Jesus, there's oneness. In the name of Jesus, Lord. You are faithful and just. You forgive us, O oh God. Let us repent. Turn from wickedness. Watch our mouths. Guard our mouths, our hearts, our eyes, our ears, our footsteps, O oh God. Let us walk upright with you, O oh God, the righteous judge, O oh God. Lord Jesus, forgive us, O oh God, for we know not what we do. Lord Jesus, we stand in the need of prayer, Lord, over our family, Lord, our family's minds, Lord, mentally, physically, healing, physical and mental, Lord. Healing, Lord, on the land, healing of our families, healing in our bodies, healing in our souls, healing in our spirits. O oh God, healing through the fire, Lord. You are the firefighter over the fire, Lord. You put out the storms and the fires, Lord. Lord Jesus, may we trust you throughout, Lord, no matter. We will still praise you, no matter. We will still reverence you, no matter. We will still honor you because you are God and God alone. We thank you, God, for your son, the risen king, O oh God, who was and is to come, who walked the earth and the flesh, who rose on that third day, Lord. Lord Jesus, cover us in our doorways and our homes with the blood, O oh God, and our lives with the blood of the Lamb of Judah. Father God, we thank you. We magnify you this day. May we be blessed, you all. In Jesus' mighty name, this video was covered with what? The blood. Nothing but the blood. I am excited today. Um, yesterday, I did not see something coming. We can never see when um, devastation strikes. You know, we don't sometimes, but you're blindsided by it. But to know that God is still worthy, you all. So yesterday, before the verdict came out on the land with the George Floyd situation, 
I was alerted by a family member that there was a um, fire um, at my husband's place of business where my husband uh, resides. And um, so I called my husband. He was on his way to call me. And he was he's fine. My husband is fine. Everyone seemed to be fine so far. Um, we're just waiting for word on other things of which way to go from here. But I am prayed up. I'm prayerful that all things work together according to those who love him. And um, I love God and I praise him and I need him in my life each and every day. And I worship God and um, I want you all to trust him no matter what. Sometimes a fire could seem devastating and sometimes a fire could bless you. God has, it, he is a consuming fire, okay? He is a God of judgment. He's a God of correction. So I was alerted by a family member that um, there was a fire right before the verdict came. It was on the news and then I received a message that one of our close family members was sent to fight the fire, help to fight the fire. So these, this is what God will do, okay? God will put the people in place. He will put that person, family member, friend, relative, to alert. He can alert you, okay, of something. Then he can put that person in place to help. Okay, to help you with your situation. So we were alerted and then we were helped by a friend to help put the fire out. Think of spiritual fire, okay? Then I was alerted by um, a follower, someone that follows me, that's a friend of the families, that was concerned because they knew that my husband had worked there. And keep in mind now, the previous place he worked, there was a, a mass killing, okay? So I was alerted about that. Now, these things, I never didn't know between these things, the, 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 the thing, other thing that happened on our job, when there was a mass killing, I was alerted, okay? God sent that alert, the family, or, or, or he sent his branch out, hey, hey, get the word, okay? Um... My husband made it okay out, out of that. So the hand of God been on our lives. Okay. No matter what we go through, God's hand is over us. Okay. So just know that the hand of the Lord is on your life when you believe in him. That you can be a testimony for others to say, hey, look, it might look bleak. It might look dim, but trust God. He has a plan, you all. He has a plan for us through tragedy. He has a plan. He has a plan through devastation. He still has a plan. He's still God. Still trust him. Still love him. You know, obedient is better than sacrifice. And you know what came to my mind? The Lord is my shepherd. What did David say? What? He said, the Lord is my shepherd, Psalms 23. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in what? The green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He do what? He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will what? Fear no what? Evil. For thou art with me, and thy rod and thy staff, what they do? They comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of who? My enemies. Thou anointest my cup with oil. Anointing oil. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Not some of the days, but all of the days of your life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Because door is loving, his loving kindness. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning, you all. 
Psalms 24. The earth is the Lord's and what the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who all shall ascend into the hill of the Lord or who shall stand in his holy place? He that have clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted up his soul and vanity nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God and his salvation. This is the generation that uh, seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob, Selah. Lift up your heads, you all, all ye gates, and be lifted up. Ye everlasting doors, and king of glory shall come in. Let God in your hearts, you all. Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. <clears throat> mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up. Ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is the king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory, Selah. Okay, now I'm on BibleGateway.com, you all. And I'm talking to you about right now Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who was with in the fiery furnace. King Nebuchadnezzar put them in the fiery furnace. And they were they they were not scared. They they had the fear of God in them. They knew that whatever happened, that God would be with them. This is their strength. Now, in Daniel, verse 16, 3, 16 through 28, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Again, and they answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this manner. God is so gracious. He is so awesome. I'm just excited right now because his glory. If it be so, our God whom we deserve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. And he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. So what did that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego tell Nebuchadnezzar? He said that they love God. And if it be his his Will he will deliver them from that furnace, and he did because they King Nebuchadnezzar saw three men in the furnace, and he know they only put three in there. He sent his men, his henchmen, to put only three in there, and King Nebuchadnezzar saw four. So they had so much faith that the Lord would be with them no matter what he was trying to do to him. My husband said he saw spiritually like the hands over the fire of his job. And this is, I said, you saw the hand of God, you know, and God's hand is on it. God's hand is on things. He will shelter you from that storm. He will be with you in that fire furnace. So don't need to fret. No need to say, oh, no, I don't have a job. Oh, no, what's going to happen? He's got you. He's got you. When you have faith like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in that furnace, no. That God is able. He will send that ram in the thicket. He will send that friend. He will send that relative to alert you. He will send that friend to ask about you on Instagram. He, that's who he is. He's God. So I don't have no reason to worry. Leave it with him. Surrender to him. But if not be it known unto the king that we not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego would not worship those false idols that King Nebuchadnezzar wanted them to worship. So he threw them in the fire furnace. He thought, oh, I'll fix you. You don't want to worship me. Okay? But he soon found out who their God was. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury. And the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore, he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it was wont to be heated. So they told his henchmen to go and, and, and heat the furnace up seven times more than it would normally be heated. So that furnace, that furnace was a fiery, burning, hot, hot furnace, hot as coal. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And it cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats, their hosen, and their hats, and their other garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. 
Therefore, because the king's commandments was urgent and the furnace exceeding hot, the flames of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Now, the fire was so hot, they didn't consume Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego who had the hand of God on them. The fire consumed the henchmen that put them in there. Isn't that something? And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, bound in the midst of the burning, fiery furnace. The Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire. Hallelujah. And they have no hurt. And the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Jesus. The Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace and spake and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, ye servants of the Most High God, come forth and come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth of the midst of the fire. And the princes, governors, and captains, and the king's counselors, excuse me, being gathered together, saw these men, upon whose bodies... The fire had no power, nor was an hair of their head singed. Neither were their coats changed, nor the smell of fire had passed on them. They didn't smell like fire. They didn't smell like anything. The Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who have sent his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him and have changed the king's word. word and yielded their bodies, that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god. So they were no longer had to worship the god that he wanted them to worship, that they could worship their god. Um, so the god Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So this is how powerful the story was, that it was overturned that the people, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, these three men, were so powerful in their belief that they didn't care what King Nebuchadnezzar did to them. Daniel, my favorite chapter of the Bible. What Nebuchadnezzar did, King Nebuchadnezzar did, I mean, yeah, King Nebuchadnezzar did to them. But they, they didn't care. They knew that they worshiped their God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who was and is to come. And they felt that he would be with them, and he was with them in the fiery furnace. And I feel like God is with me and my family right now. And, and that's how and he puts me here as a testimony to others. So I'm not exempt from things in my life. M my family has gone through um, workplace violence where it was um, catastrophic, you know, where we had a, a, a mass killing another job. Um, now we're dealing with a fire. So God's hand is over us. Well, I'm able to talk to you and tell you that he's okay. He has protected us through the fire. He will protect you and your family through the storm, through the rain. He will have that person in a place to go fight the fire. He will put that person in place, his helpers, okay? He have his helpers here on the land to help us, to bless us, okay, you all? So don't be discouraged nor dismayed about the pandemic. Don't be discouraged nor dismayed about coronavirus getting vaccinated, getting, t you know, um, dying and being in fear. J Jesus is all consuming fire. He knows what, he, he's, what we stand in need of. He knows he's that ram in the thicket, just like when Abraham was going to sacrifice Isaac, he sent the ram that he didn't sacrifice his son. He is that lamb of uh, a ram in the thicket for us. He is that sacrificial lamb for us. Now listen to this in Exodus, Exodus, and knowingjesus.com. Exodus 3, 2 to 3. The angel of the Lord appeared to him in a blazing fire from the midst of a bush. Remember the angel appeared to Moses. And he looked and behold, the bush was burning with fire. Yet the bush was not consumed. Okay. So Moses said, I must turn aside now and see the marvelous sight while 
the bush is not burned up. Okay. Now in Revelations 15, 2, he say, John, and I saw something like a sea of, of glass mixed with fire. And those who had been victorious over the beast and his image and the number of his name standing on the sea of, of glass, holding hearts of God. Okay. Now Exodus 13, 21. The Lord was going before them in a pillar of a cloud by day to lead them on the way and in a pillar of fire by night, the fire, to give them light that they might travel by day and by night. So the Lord uses fire for light. He uses fire to bring you out of something. Okay. So a fire can also be a blessing. All right. Nehemiah 9, 12. And with a pillar of a cloud, you let them by day and with a pillar of fire by night to light them for uh, the way in which they were to go. So Jesus used a fire for his light to preserve us in that path for us to go down a certain path. Nehemiah 9, 19. You in your great compassion did not forsake them in the wilderness the pillar of cloud did not leave them by day to guide them on their way, nor the pillar of fire by night to light for them in the way in which they were to go. Okay. God is that consuming fire. He's our light. Numbers 14, 14. And they will tell it to the inhabitants of this land. They have heard that you, O Lord, are in the midst of this people. For you, O Lord, are seen eye to eye. While your cloud stands over them and you go before them in a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Now, my husband saw the hands over the fire, the hand of God through this. So what did this mean? God's hand was in place. Was He was sheltered in place to not be hurt. He came back home to me, his wife and family. He was safe and secure through this fire. That's what God will do for us. He will keep us just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. De Deuteronomy 1.33. Who goes before you on your way to seek out a place for you to encamp? And fire by night and cloud by day to show you the way in which you should go. Psalm 78, 14. Then he led them with the cloud by day and all the night with a light of fire. This light of fire, he leading us. See, God will lead you with that fire. Spiritual fire. Psalms 105, 39. He spread a cloud for a covering and fire to illuminate by night. He spread Psalms 105, 39. Let me go to Psalms 105 for a second. This is very, very powerful. You know, it's a lot of Psalms in the Bible. It's like the biggest book. So we're going to Psalms 105 right now. 39. He spread a cloud for a covering and fire to give light in the night. The people asked, and he brought quails and satisfied them with the bread of heaven. See, Jesus, he opened the rock and the waters gushed out. They ran in dry places like rivers. This was feeding the multitude. He was, he was, they were thirsty, so he, 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 he let the water come out of the rocks. And he remembered his holy promise to Abraham, his servant, and he brought forth his people with joy and his chosen with gladness and joyful shout. So we're going to shout to the Lord. We're going to shout praises, hallelujah, salvation, honor, and glory to God. We're not going to fret. We're not going to um, submit to Satan and worry. We're going to leave our worries to God. We're going to trust him. We're going to have faith. We're going to walk with him. I feel good right now. There might have been a fire, but guess what? God put out that fire. God will be with us in the fire. He will be with you in the fire through the storm. The verdict is out. God is the judge, okay? This happened before that verdict. God is the judge. I did not see it coming. We don't always see it coming. But God is all so consuming fire. Whatever his plan is, I will trust him. 
Job trusted him. Guess what? I will trust him. And guess what? You should trust him. Trust him. Trust him. Trust him. Lean not to your own understand, understand all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your path, you all. I trust him with my life. Just like I told you the other day or another video. I trust him with every being. Trust him with from the death of your soul. I trusted him in a mass shooting. I trusted him over this fire. He is a consumer fire. He will guard us. He will guide us. He is just and truth to save us. Psalms 106, praise ye the Lord, O give thanks, for he is good, for his mercy endure forever. What? His mercy endure how long? Forever and ever and ever. I just feel so good. I, I can't complain. I can't be upset. I can't be mad. Right now, I just feel joy. Before this happened, before this came about, before I was alerted, I had on my hymns, praising God before this verdict came out i was uh, uh, uh um in, 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 in oneness with the lord i was in prayer for with the lord over uh, uh, the victims families over the person that did it families over their souls their minds their spirits because sir, everybody was hurt through this okay and god's plan is to be in oneness with him when we doing things that's not a a, a, a um of him, he will correct us. No one is above correction. See, that's what God wants us to get. No one is above correction. Not a police officer. Not a firefighter. Not a judge. Not a juror. Not a, a, a listener. No one is above the Lord. He is just. He is righteous. He sees all, he knows all, he sits high and he sits low. He keeps us in peace whose mind is stayed on him. When we go out of his will, he will judge us and correct us. Sometimes it's with punishment. Sometimes it's with um, imprisonment. But when we go outside the will of the Father, we don't belong to ourselves. We do not belong to ourselves. Some think they do. Jesus. Some hearts are hardened towards God and people. But great is thy mercy. Mm. Great is thy faithfulness. That's what I'm hearing right now in the spirit. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning. Oh Lord, all I have needed, my Lord have provided. All you need, the Lord God will provide it you all. Just trust him. Please don't give up. Don't take your life. Don't take someone else's life. Great is the faithfulness. All we need, God will provide it. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord unto me. He says all he has all we need he has provided he's so merciful lord y'all you know he is so merciful i will trust the lord i i i've cried out to god you know about the situation about the trial it hurt me i had to turn things off it hurt me to see someone Pass in the manner that they passed in. And I just pray to God, Lord, have mercy. Father God, that your will be done in the situation. But God's will 
It's going to be done. Choose whom this day, whom you will serve. We either you all serving Satan or we serving God. Satan is death, but God is life. You either with the wings or you with the tears. God is just, forgiving, faithful. He is truth. He says his truth will set you free. He says, don't hate. He says, love thy neighbor as yourself. He has do unto others as you will have them do unto you. If you don't want to be treated like that, don't treat your fellow man like that. If you do go down that wrong road, you better believe God's going to correct you. We are not our own gods. We cannot save ourselves. We are not our own judges. The Lord is. The Lord is the righteous judge. We don't belong to ourselves. We can't do anything in our own strength. We can't save ourselves. We cover it not in our blood, but through the blood of Christ. The risen clean king, our Lord and Savior. He means what he says and he says what he means. Hold to God's unchanging hands. Devastations are going to be happening. All around you, we are in the end times, you all. But be like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and know that God is with you when you trust him and when you believe on him. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know what the reward is for the wicked is death. But we serve an awesome God. He's a God that shall not lie. We can't hide what's in our hearts. God knows our hearts. He said, when you seek him with your whole heart, you will find him. You can do all type of bad things. You can do things against God. But you are to repent and be remorseful if it's out of his will. And you are to ask him to forgive you. You are to ask others for forgiveness. We are not to gloat in our mess and our wicked ways because we can perish in that. We can perish in darkness. We can perish in this world. We can perish in hatred. We can perish in all these negative connotations that people have in their hearts. The hate, the evil, the wickedness. Jesus has paid the price. He says the meek shall what? Inherit the earth. You inherit his goodness, his glory, his mercy, his grace. His grace is sufficient when you're meek and humble, but when you're pride and boastful, unforgiving, ungrateful, and deceit, and proud of being in your deceit, that's death. So we are to pray for our enemies. Bless those that use us and abuse us. God is the judge. And no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rise against you in judgment, the Lord thy God shall condemn. He will make it good. Your good will become better and your better will become best you all. There's no need to fret. There's no need to fear. 
There's no need to worry because guess what? Our God is a consuming, consuming fire. The hands of God is over the fire. He sent the fire for light to guide us through the path of righteousness. Do not fret. Do not fear. Don't take your life. Don't take others. Don't hate. Don't give up. But fear God. Not man, but fear God. Reverence him. Praise him. Give thanks. Praise ye the Lord in Psalms 106 because his mercy endure forever. He said, who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can show forth all his praise? Blessed are they that keep judgment and he that doeth righteous at all times. Bless them. Remember me, O Lord, with the favor that thou bearest unto thy people. O visit me with thy salvation that I may see the good of thy chosen, that I may rejoice in the gladness of thy nation, that I may glory with thy inheritance. We have sinned with our fathers. We have committed iniquity. We have done wickedly. Our fathers understood not thy wonders in Egypt. Oh, I can feel the presence of the Lord, you all. They remembered not the multitude of thy mercies, but provoked him at the sea, even at the Red Sea. Nevertheless, he saved them for his name's sake, that he might make his mighty power to be known. God will make his power to be known, you all. He's making it known right now. The power of God sustains all. Nevertheless, he saved them for his name's sake, that he might make his mighty power to be known. He rebuked the Red Sea also, and it was dried up. So he led them through the depths as through the wilderness. God, oh goodness, he parted the Red Sea. He led the Hebrews through the wilderness. He saved them from the hand of him that hated them and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. And that's what God will do for you in your life. He will save you from the hand of the enemy. He will de redeem you from the enemy. And the waters covered their enemies. There was not one of them left. Mm. Then believe them, they, his words, they sang his praise. They soon forget his works. They waited not for his counsel. This is Psalms 106, you all. They soon forget his works. But lusted exceedingly in the wilderness and tempted God in the desert. Hey, don't, don't tempt God. Mm. Hatred is tempting God. Murdering is tempting God. Wickedness is tempting God. God is an all-consuming fire. His ways are higher than ours. Job did not curse God, but Job questioned God. It's okay to question God. God, why? Why are you doing this, God, in my life? God, what's the reason? What's your purpose? What's your will? Ask him. He don't have no problem with that. But we are not to tempt him. He don't tempt God. That's the worst thing you can do is tempt God. He don't tempt God with evil. He is a God that is a consuming fire. He can use the fire to show you the way, to show you the path to go. He can use that fire for his light. You all see this light right here? It's dark. Now it's lighter. He can use fire for light, you all. He is the light of the world. He is our light of the world. He, he's a light to our path. He make our feet like Heinz feet, you all. I just feel so good right now because God is going to use this fire in our life to show us his path, to, to lead us down the path, his light. He's lighting the path. He's lighting the path. Like the yellow brick road, he is the light. He's the light of the path. His light will shine forever. His glory will shine forever. I have no reason to fear. I trust him. As Job, I trust him. As Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, I trust him. As David, Psalms 23, he is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the green pastures. He restoreth my soul. 
You know, he leaded me down the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for God is with me. Thy rod and thy staff, he comfort me. He prepares a table for me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with what? With oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. 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 And amen. I will praise you. I will magnify the Lord. I will glorify the Lord. I will trust God. No matter what you do to me, no matter what you do to my family, guess what? I will trust the Lord. The hand of God is on your lives. Know that he is God, the righteous God. If you're wrong, he will correct you. The mix shall inherit the earth. Be humble. Humble your hearts. Love him. Love thy neighbor as thyself. But when you're being wicked, you will be chastened. Because he loves his children, you all. And nothing is in vain. Because he didn't die for nothing. May you all be saved through the blood of Jesus. May you all trust him with your life. May you all be in repentance. May you all have a heart to forgive, a heart to love, not a heart to hate, but to love thy neighbor as thyself, you all. May God cover you with his blood. May you magnify him and cherish God each and every day, you all. Read your words and pray and, and believe as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I love you all. With go with the love of the Lord, you all. Be blessed, you all, for the next video. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus.